Well, as she headed to Germany, the Queen Consort was among many people paying tribute to Paul O'Grady following his sudden death, aged 67. It is almost impossible to overstate the positive influence he had during his life. He was always looking out for others, be it as a social worker before he found fame, a champion of the persecuted, or simply uh, with his love of dogs. And then there was the joy he spread through laughter. Audiences, of course, adored the foul-mouthed, outrageous Lily Savage. And when he was just Paul, his mischievous, warm personality kept them smiling. Right until the end. The blonde bobtite herself, Miss Lily Savage. Savage by both name and nature. Pack it up, pack it up. Thank you. So pack it up, I said. Paul O'Grady's razor-sharp drag queen Lily Savage would prove to be just the start of his success story. I'm not drunk, it's these meals that are death trap. <laughs> Honest to God, Barbara, I haven't had a drop. Lily was born in the late 70s, best known for her bleach blonde wig and stilettos. Her laughs helped bring change, paving the way for LGBT representation on screen. Has she got this thing on? A fixture at the Royal Vauxhall Tavern in London, which in 1987 was raided by police wearing rubber gloves over fears of catching HIV and AIDS. O'Grady was arrested, but undeterred, and continued to use his platform to demand equality. Paul was a cultural warrior for LGBT plus rights. Um, he used his talent and creativity, he used his mass audience appeal as a way of projecting and understanding and acceptance of LGBT plus people. He broke down barriers and all of us have benefited from that. He went from victim of homophobia to victor overcoming homophobia and making his mark. Well, good evening and welcome to my little show. Now, you'll have to excuse the way I'm dressed because I've just come straight from where... Lily slowly became a household name, presenting a string of TV shows. People say to me, why would you never get up as yourself and do stand up? And I always say, because that would be my opinion. And I'd, you know, I'd, so I'd be scared of offending, to tell you the truth. But as Lily, you can get away with murder. You know, you can just stand there and talk a load of nonsense, which are quite frequently do and get paid for it. Lily did make way for Paul in the early 2000s, when he was given his own chat show, pointed put-downs converted to warm comedy. Watching Paul was always a joy, because he was so funny, but he made it look easy. Um, he did all of his homework, he worked really hard, but he made everybody feel comfortable. Um, a couple of times when I was on his show, it was just like being in his house. You know, it was just like having a conversation. He was, he was the master. I said fabulous prizes. <laughs> From Blankety Blank to the Paul O'Grady show, he found his home in others' living rooms. Last year, Paul, an animal lover, was joined by the Queen Consort for a special episode of For the Love of Dogs. There are a lot of people out there like you and I who love taking in yeah. you and dogs who, who you know want homes. Exactly. Exactly. The, the, the joy that you yeah. get out of them. The royal family paid tribute saying the Queen Consort was deeply saddened to hear of his sudden death at the age of 67 and that his warm heart and infectious humour lit up the lives of so many. In the same way that Paul's on-screen persona evolved, so did the things he campaigned for. He was a social warrior mm. and he couldn't bear what was going on at the moment, um, you know, with the working classes and the cost of living. And he used to be incandescent about it and he never lost his roots like that. He was always a very, very real man. And but also hysterically funny. You went out to dinner with him and it was exhausting because you were laughing that much. He was just he was there was no one like him. He not only entertained a generation, but inspired them as well. Last year, he left Radio 2, and today they broadcast that fitting goodbye once again. So you look after yourselves, yeah? Stay safe and well. ta -ra, everyone. The words there of Paul O'Grady, whose life and infectious humour was remembered today.